According to the United Nations, the phenomenon of desertification is worsening around the globe, affecting one-third of the Earth's surface and the one billion people who live in dry areas. Being the most arid nation in the world, Egypt has been on the front line of the battle with desertification for as long as its history. More than 95% of the country is covered in sand that's continually spreading. To decelerate the growth of the desert, Egypt has been planting olive trees. In the latest in our series of features on water resource management in Egypt, we start our journey at the pyramids. A masterpiece of architecture, Egypt's pyramids are a symbol of the pharaoh's ultimate power and sacrosanctity. Nowadays, to serve the tourists who come to admire their great beauty, at the foot of these magnificent monuments, camels are ready for rides. These ungulates are biologically gifted to survive in the infinite expanse of harsh sand dunes. Here in Egypt, more than 95% of the land is desert. Egypt's famed white desert, studded with chalk rock mushrooms, used to be under the sea millions of years ago. During the Cenomanian or the Cretaceous, the sea invades the deserts from north to south until it reaches to Aswan at uh, the south, south of Egypt. So the white desert is in Farafra oasis in the heart of the Egyptian desert, Egyptian western desert. So the sea was deep at that time. The deepening of the sea formed a chalk or a white limestone which uh, uh, deposited uh, for at least 100 meters of chalk and limestone and after the sea retreats or uh, regressed, now the desert become uh, white. The limestone in the sand holds the key to the mysteries surrounding the desert's prehistoric identity. The limestone layer in the white desert was formed by coral reefs under the sea millions of years ago. Coral synthesizes the calcium carbonate that is dissolved in the seawater into its structure, which later becomes hard reef after the coral dies. Combined with shelves and held together by coralline algae, the reefs crystallize and become part of the seafloor, which gets pushed upwards by vertical crustal movement to become land. Formerly submerged under the sea, due to human activities in the recent years, the desert is now morphing into a monster on a growth spurt. Overpumping of groundwater along the Mediterranean coast has caused the intrusion of seawater into the ground, resulting in the salinization of many of Egypt's farmlands. The lack of vegetation in the soil, coupled with exposure to strong winds, leads to further desertification of the land. Currently, arable land in Egypt is only 3.3% of the total, but even that figure is diminishing. Desertification increases the rate of CO2 in the atmosphere because uh, plants remove CO2 normally from the atmosphere. So with uh, increased uh, uh, deterioration of the desert and the desertification, the CO2 will be available. So the problem will be more worse. With less and less land for cultivation, Egyptians are drawing on the wisdom of their forefathers to battle desertification. Inspired by the paintings of olive trees on temple walls that are thousands of years old, desert farmers have found a way. Olive trees are a good plant because the roots hold soil together and purify the earth. These shrubs are hardy and are able to thrive in salinized soil. The 210 kilometers of desert road here is flanked by around 2 million olive trees. Agricultural specialists in Egypt have developed new watering methods for these olive trees. Israel's patented drip irrigation technology has also been introduced, whereby water is delivered straight to the roots, saving half of the amount needed. We are an organic farm with natural fertilizers and pesticides. We feed our trees with a locally produced mineral fertilizer that is very effective. It nourishes the plants without salinizing the soil. The organic farming methods and the water-saving drip irrigation technology have allowed Egyptian farmers to grow beautiful olives in the wasteland, producing food for the growing population while preserving precious soil.